All right. Hello, hello, everybody. I don't know why my pinned message didn't stay, but that's okay. So, where we're at in our uh, game creation journey is um, quite excitingly, we're going to play around with some free graphics, which by the way, itch.io is amazing for not just free, but you know, buying directly from artists and creators. Um, which honestly, let's see, I was quite impressed with this. Uh, oh, he's not moving. Why is he not moving? Well, I'm still impressed with the graphic. <laughs> um, let's see, why is he not in his idol? Because his idol should look like this, which I thought was really pretty cool. Um, should loop or whatever, but yeah, pretty cool for being a free graphic. Um, well, hello, DeVito Tuxedo. I love that name. Um, did you change your name from before? Either way, glad to have you. I uh, really need math brains today. So if anybody's good at math. So we're not really making our actual game like what we make today will not be in the final game or anything like that. But I just want to make sure that our ideas are even possible and uh, to do a lot of trial and error with low stakes instead of after we're deep into uh oh okay hey indigo I'll, I'll try to remember to call you david but uh, indigo is definitely my go-to another thing i'm a little stressed about is i'm not used to these um let's see these tile sets I think this Pixel Adventure 1 is all like tile sets. So I'm going to have to learn a lot along the way. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, like this one I think is, is a tile set. So let's learn a little bit about how this works. I'm sure there's a... Um, I'm sure there's a example game for it as well. Okay, so what, like you would, first off, we'd probably need grit if we're doing pixel style art. Um, and I really wanted to practice mechanics today. So we may just have to use our grass platforms we've had before. Um, but like, I'm curious, you know, how it would work. Wouldn't that use a lot of um, memory to have this whole graphic every time you place even just a piece of this down? Or do they expect you to go in and like um, edit within it using Piscal and stuff? I don't know if people are used to used to tiled spread. I've never really so displays an image repeated over an area. Ah, uh, see, so that could be maybe more useful if we had a chunk off of that, and that way it repeats itself. We have used tiled sprite before. Um, so anyways, let's just find, oh, tile map, made with the tiled editor. So that's a whole nother beast too, that when we do our RPG, we're going to have to uh, learn a lot for. But just for now, let's just get a darn platform up, because I want to, the main thing you want to figure out is the basic idea of this game is that when your character is spinning, which unfortunately our graphic does not spin. Um, so we'll probably just do it with jump for now. But while it's in a certain state, which our goal is a spin like Crash Bandicoot style, that if you're hitting a platform or a wall, you bounce off it. So that's where I feel like math will come in because I'm not good at that. Would it bounce? We could do a couple of things. First, I wanted to see what wall jump looks like because maybe that just solves the problem already if that can work horizontal too, like if you hit the bottom of a platform. Um, but if not, I figured we could just apply a force to the sprite, and that's where the angles come in. Is it perpendicular? So let's say you're going up at the 
wall hit it and then I want it to go like that, you know? That seems perpendicular to me. <laughs> so we'll play around with the settings and figure it out. Um, we'll need some sort of enemy. And then for enemies, if they're not attacking while you're spinning, you kill them. But if it's while they're attacking, um, you would bounce off them. And I think that could add a fun little thing. And you don't die by falling down. It would be like Jump King where you kind of, because it's vertical scrolling, you know, you would just have to keep trying to get up. And the goal would be fastest time, but there'd also be a leaderboard for um, for highest score as well. So let's just find a plain old, like I think our, what was the name of our, here we go. This was a tiled sprite actually, so let's, let's use that. Let's delete this one. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to finally start our real thing. And again, in the real game, we're going to probably have external events that can be used in multiple levels. Um, we'll probably have object groups, like all enemies put in one group, so it's a lot easier to code than having to code for each, each type of enemy. I suppose I could use the asset store as well. See, we know these basic things, like we know it wants it to be a platform. Um, I don't think they should be ledge grabbing. And it's not jump through. We'll call this platform. Again, it would be more exact in the, uh, in the real game. Now we would also want like cave walls in the real game, which I'll, ah, which I'll need graphics for, like always along the edge, there'll be cave walls. Um, but for now, oh, that's a tiny ass platform <laughs> compared to this sprite. I know it goes to show how important uh, having your art is, but uh, let's at least get some of these mechanics down. And can I make a... Can I make this vertical? Ah. So that can be kind of a wall. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? I don't want it to be um, relational. Darn. Why won't it let me, okay, so let's, this is G develop, completely free. Okay, something weird is happening with that one. Um, let's just start it from scratch again. So GDevelop is completely free, although there is a pay for option, um, which just gives you, it doesn't give extra features, it just uh, allows for more storage for free and, and all that, or, you know, on their cloud. Um, I think it's just so cool that they have this for free. Now again, we would have a much cooler graphic for our walls in the real, I keep calling, you know, the real game, but I wonder if there's a way to just invert. No, that's okay. There probably is, but somewhere in, uh, should be something called, uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't look like theirs. So yeah, G develop, and their goal is to have uh, like schools be able to use this to teach basic visual coding. Um, it is ridiculously functional. It has copy and paste even within its. Uh, okay, again, the game will look much cooler than this, but. Um, even within its event sheets. Um, so yeah, we also have to give our character the platform character behavior, but let's look up just to see if wall jump does what we like. It very well may not. <laughs> um, let's see, wait, did I download it? 
advanced behavior. Ready install. Oh, maybe it, maybe it just builds it into this. Oh, here's here's the new functions we got out of it. But yeah, um, Indigo it. The idea is there's these extensions and behaviors where people already did a bunch of coding to make your life easier, and why not? Um, so someone already coded, you know, kind of coded a way to have a platform. Someone coded how to have a platform or character. Um, the main thing I wanted to check out, jump and slide. See, we don't necessarily want, oh boy, slides or any of those type things. Um, wall jump. So, I guess we'll just play it first and see what it's like. Because we don't want it to slide. I think what they're picturing is you could go against a wall and kind of slide and then jump. Um, we want it to be way more chaotic. And that's why I was leaning towards just applying a force at an angle, either perpendicular or that's where I need your guys' help. Um, so let's see. Default controls. Here's where we can change all the jump stuff, which while you're spinning, I think I'll change the jump sustain time. So you're kind of gliding as well. Uh, I don't want grabbing. Don't want that. None of this. The walk and deceleration we played with before. Um, so what it is, what it is, so um, Indigo is um, we the idea of this game is while you're in attack mode or during the attack animation which in our real game will be us spinning um, that you should bounce off the wall. I want it to get really chaotic um, so that if someone's really good at gaming, which I am not, they could really finish a level fast by bouncing off of the walls and the enemies and getting up to the top if they're just going for a speed run. Or for someone who's bad at gaming like me, it would allow for chaos, but it, um, you know, who cares? It would be fun. You can just keep trying. Um, you kill an enemy if you're spinning and they're not attacking, but you would also bounce off them like a wall if they're attacking while you're spinning at them. Um, this is all just theoretical, and that's, that's why we're doing these, is to just see how we can do it before I get my uh, excitement too high and all this stuff I don't I don't want wall sliding which is one reason we might not use advanced um, so I will program in the joystick or you know gamepad control which is also ridiculously easy but for now let's just take a peek at what's going on <laughs> Okay, this isn't a good sign. Does our okay our character does? <laughs> um, okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know why he doesn't turn and all that stuff, but why is he stuck in such a limited area? Let's uh, let's figure that out. <laughs> it's not what I expected to be happening. So he should be all the way down here. Are these collision masks that huge? Like this should only be, oh, did we add platform behavior for all of them, right? Yeah, these are platforms. Um, oh, that's right, you can't do collision masks with, um, with a tiled sprite. So let's do what we had seen. Um, in that one game where they created just like rectangles it would be just like a, a shape um, I guess I can just draw a shape real quick was that one of them shape painter
Yes. Thank you. Oh, wait, but that's using events. Never mind. Thank you for that idea, though. Um, so, I know you guys can't see it, but it really shouldn't matter. Like, let's see, can I just place it down? <laughs> Do you see my beautiful drawing? Um, it's going to be invisible anyways. But let's just see if I add... <laughs> so the collision mask, yeah, is the whole thing for now. And then we add platform behavior to this. Let's see if that works a little bit better. Um, and again, this does have normal... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that didn't seem like our usual default platform behavior stuff. Regardless of the... Uh, regardless of the wall jump. Thank you, Scaper. I will definitely be finishing um, Resident Evil tomorrow. Why is he so high up? Well, maybe his collision mask is really high. Oh, there he goes. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this wizard has a really huge collision mask. Ah, uh, that's what it is. He thickens. Why would they make the overall sprite so giant? Um, what's up, Skull? So, let's go ahead and make this collision mask way tinier. Now, the problem is we'll have to do this to... And obviously, again, once I have my very professional artist, who's a very famous and renowned um, pixel artist, um, once he creates it, like for instance, this is clearly made for like an HD game, and we're using like pixel platform, so we don't need it perfect. I don't know why I'm spending so long on it. Um, there isn't a super easy way that does it automatically, Skull. Um, but you could get as close as you wanted by adding countless vertexes. Um, oh wait, but we can apply it to all, a share same collision masks for all animations. Okay. Now hopefully, okay, that's good for the idle because he stays still. Let's see about the walking. So it's not bad, at least for us just experimenting. You ever play around with game, uh, game creation, Skull? If you do, G develops way easier than others. And let's, because it was driving me nuts, let's real quick, this should be way more organized, but while main care is moving, um, it should be this, look how easy this is, isn't this crazy? It should be, um, wasn't it one, right? Because the first one's zero. So while main care is not moving, yeah, it is so much, but this makes it way, way easier. Look at that, we can just paste. So then it should be idle when he's not moving. Um, there is a whole thing about like, what would it be while character, I think we'd have to have control pressed. Mm, how did we do it? Do you remember, um, Jonathan, how we did it where when he's facing the left, we like turn the animation to the left? Because the problem with uh, problem with saying when button when left is pressed, you invert it, is that um, like you flip it horizontally? Is then when he's jumping, when he default back, control press. Let's just try that anyways. Left. So when you have it pressed. You should invert, flip, I think they call it, flip the object horizontally. 
It's kind of unclear which one. Flip horizontally, yes. Let's just see what happens. I think that might mean it's stuck. So then if he presses... Wait, I think this is all one. So, but then instead if they press right... Oops, no. So instead if they press right, they unflip it, I guess. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> I kind of like this better because we're just kind of playing around to learn. Oh, look at this. Guys, this is actually, well, why was he moving? I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but it's, it's something. <laughs> okay, the point was to see about bouncing though. I kind of love it. Okay, what's going on with that though, where he... Oh, because I don't think he considered himself quite on the floor. Okay, well that's a little clunky. Which I'm convinced has more to do with uh, this being an HD graphic. While we uh, are working with like a pixel platform, but... <laughs> it looks like something. <laughs> Okay, so, um, his jump needs to be way, way stronger. So let's do like 800, I guess. Let me see. I won't show it just for a second. Yeah, it's still not enough. Um, I guess we can move these to give us a little space. Okay, now let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Okay. Not bad. I still don't get why... Oh, I know what it is. We have... So the reason why he stops this walking motion after a while is we gotta click on loop. That's why they were sta so this is going to look a lot better already. So now watch, when we're idle, our character actually sits there and blinks. Let's see, if I press left, will he... Oh, I love G-Develop. What, it's been like 35 minutes or something? We've already got, got a way to test out our ideas. Oh, oh, forgot I haven't made those platforms. These seem to still go way farther than they should, which I think I know the solution to that. We've already kind of talked about how to do these collision masks. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Scaper. Um, I did not make that art for the record. I am extremely incapable. One positive to using... We'll have to figure out how people did those rectangle ones. Um, one positive to that is I was talking about how we would make a group for platforms, but all the better that it'll be an invisible object because then we could have whatever look of the platforms we want, um, but those aren't actually acting as the thing in the event sheet, right? They're just the look, so to speak. Um, real quick, I was going to check again. I swore there's an easy way to just draw. Guess not. Whatever. I mean, most human beings could make a real quick uh, rectangle on on Pisco. <laughs> okay, so the the problem I think is that we have it again where it's the whole. Well, but the sprite should only go as far as this, though. You know, it's not like we only want it to be my little scribble. So why was my character still walking so far over? Is it something to do with the uh, collision mask while walking? No. Oh my, what's that all about? Did I just do that? I think I just accidentally deleted a vertex. <laughs> um, 
Okay, that's not a huge deal. Okay. Still wondering about why... Why it didn't seem to uh, respect the, the edge of the platform very well. Okay, so let's try the wall idea. Now, is that something we have to give in here? Let's see. Like, is this the... Oh... Wait, I think... Let's see... This guy is supposed to be the platform... Character... Already added, okay... Um... Okay, I want him to be the platform character. Well, I thought maybe it was treating him as an object, which is never nice to do, don't treat people as objects. Um, well, that was not it. Look how giant that sprite is in general. That just can't be, be good. <laughs> the fact that the whole sprite area is this giant thing, even if we did fix um, collision masks. Alright, whatever. Um, oh, it could have something to do with center and origin. Let's at least move origin to the actual, like, start of his character as well. Which these are more so used for, um, like, coding parts. Okay, let's just see what all this looks like right now real quick. <gasps> <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> well, it changed. <laughs> I think it's because I think... Uh, did I get rid of these being... No, these are still platforms. Oh no. I played around too much. Alright, let's delete all of the behaviors and start over. Uh, I think it was that. I think they considered it. Okay, there's a whole bunch of crap going on there. We just need this to be a platform. I just wanted to see, can this be the wall? Like, how do they know if this is a wall? Because that's not an option here. Let's see if that's somewhere in here. Well, it'd be wall. <laughs> no. Advanced platform. Oh, platform type. See, it's still only platform jump through or, or ladder. Okay, let's make sure we fixed what was just happening there. Okay. Oh, damn, we're back at the default though. Okay, this is real clunky still. Like, really, really clunky. Why this hoe able to walk that far off the platform? Also, why is he able to jump here? He's not on a platform. We have so much work to do. <laughs> okay, but let's at least test out what wall jump looks like. Another beauty of using this is I don't have to like flip it and stuff. Flip it, stick it, see you later, bye. Okay. Let's see what goes down now. Not much of a wall jump. Oh, who knows if that's because of wall jump, too. Okay, well, I don't like wall jump in general. Haven't been a big fan of it so far. Um, but at least these act as walls now. Um, maybe next time we'll, like, look at an example game with with wall jump built in. Um, so we're not supposed to be able to grab 
We did need to increase the jump to, what did we have, 800? Hmm. So where is, okay, and then we have to add, no. Then we add wall jump to this guy. Okay, so wall jump. I wonder if we need to have this. Um, did you guys see it? It was configuration stack. Oh, it's already on. Okay. Okay, so wall jump. Now let's play around with it. Because we didn't have it on. Oh, oh. Oh, so this is like <laughs> if you wanted one of those games where you can... Uh, which would be cool, like you could definitely add an event where while sliding your character um, changes its animation. This is not what we wanted. Um, let's see what happens if I don't click in any direction. Yeah, no, this is not it. I mean, that's kind of cool, but that's not what we wanted. That kind of gives the idea, and we could simulate a left click when you're spinning. That's the bounce I want. Um, so actually, no, it it didn't, Jonathan, if I remember correctly. The biggest part um, is because these don't have collision masks because they're tiled sprites. But let's just see, I mean, I think this would work fine too. Um, let's just see what happens. How do I? I, w I wish there's a way to just like hide them temporarily. Well, it just moves some of them. So let's see what happens here. Oh, I guess they do. But we wouldn't be able to edit their collision masks. And I think what I got grumpy about during that other game was um, was our feet didn't quite touch it. <laughs> as petty as that was. Um, but yeah, as we saw in those other games, it's pretty normal to use a background object for it because then we can add events to platforms, those sprites, but I don't know. Let's, yeah, that's a good point. I'm not sure. A lot of the other games did that. And if you remember the example game we looked at also used two um, rectangles within the character for all their coding as well. So there's gotta be reasons. I mean, a, a good reason in this case would be because how giant this sprite would be, <laughs> right? We've already kind of experienced that, but um, I'm sure there's more to it. Okay, so wall jump's not it. Let's, we don't really need advanced in general now. So let's now try figure out what I was most worried about, where we're going to have to use math, <laughs> where based on the angle we're coming from, we should bounce off it with more force. And to add a little chaos here, let's add something you can try to jump to, I guess. Um, I'm really not happy with platform behavior in general so far, to be honest, because it seems like you can jump off this, like jump from the side of a platform, which is not, I mean, we turned off grab ledges and stuff. Um, so I don't know why, maybe we had to make that zero, but I said can't grab. I don't know, it just seemed like we may have to, I don't know, figure something out. That's why we're doing it with this test version. Um, all right, now in the real game, it would be while you're in like an attack mode. So let's see if they have another animation for this blue wizard guy. Darn, he only has walk, jump, which we haven't added jump yet. 
Oh, maybe while he's doing the, oh, I love this. <laughs> Which would be one of the features they have with the dash, but that could be the attack. I don't know why this one's like dark like that. Okay, so let's add jump in general. I don't know why some are dark backgrounds. So this will be regular jump. And then let's add attack, <laughs> which is not what the intention of this sprite was, but let's see. Maybe that's, eh, I think I like this one the most. It looks really dramatic and we can't forget to click loop. In the case of jump, we won't loop, but for attack, I think we will. All right, let's just see what this looks like. I, I don't know if any of this is really going to work very well. Um, so let's say space for now. Like I said, we'll add gamepad compatibility. Um, we changed the animation to, we called it attack. Oh wait, but space is also already jump. So um, I guess when they're holding control, I think they call it left control. Uh, so when key is pressed. Something to do with control. How do they do it? Left control. Oh yeah. Yes, thank you for reminding me about the box. <laughs> so when left control is pressed, we're gonna change the animation to attack. Also, this is so sloppy. Um, when main character is jumping, you should um, set animation to jump. Okay, good point though. We can't forget about those collision masks. Oh, you know what? It should have defaulted. But let's just see what they look like. Oh, for some reason they didn't. So let's recheck this just because they were new. I guess they didn't default. Let's see. Actually, it turned out okay for jump. <laughs> I, absolutely <laughs> I absolutely love this should be like an emote or whatever, this uh, dash graphic that they have. Um, okay. Where was that one that was like a black frame though? So yeah, they made that really easy. That's so cool. And it's not a spin, but at least it'll make us be able to tell when we're attacking, quote unquote. Okay, so let's just see what this looks like so far. What is happening? Whoa. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, <laughs> what was happening there? All we did was change it. If left control is pressed, you change animation to attack. What? Could be that all these platforms are now platform behaviors. I'll delete that for now. Um, okay, left control is pressed. We changed the animation. All we did was change the animation. Which really, it wasn't even when I was pressing that though. And we did check the collision masks. So it couldn't be that. Oh, could it have something to do? Do we still have advanced stuff on? We don't want dash or any of that crap. Right, because dash we have to add, right? Yeah, so it's not that. Thank you, Scaper. Hey, Arwen, it's been a while.
Thank you, Arwen. Hope you are well. Main character is jumping. We change animation to jump. Main character is not moving. Could it be because technically while it's moving, so moving went on floor? Yeah, isn't that how it goes? So when main character is on floor and moving, it's walking. Same with the animation. I'll just see what this looks like right now. Oh. So maybe it was just the platform thing. <gasps> what? What what happened? Okay, it's something to do with this space. I kinda love that I'm bouncing all over the place. Okay, now let me try control. <laughs> Guys, I don't understand. <laughs> oh. What well, worked there? Okay, this was not supposed to be the challenging part. Hmm. Um, okay. We didn't change space though, we deleted that. Could it be that the default controls? Um, I'll, you mean the origin point? I'll check that as well. Um, let me also, maybe left control is already used in these default controls. So just something I know isn't used, let's do A. Well, but that should have nothing to do with space, so yeah, let's also change the origin for all of them. Thank you, Jonathan. So maybe it's that. Let's see what it looks like now. <laughs> okay, walking is fine. Everything works there. Oh, oh, okay. Look at us. Okay, now here's the real clincher. All right, well, A is not working. It's only when he's like, hmm. Okay, so let's figure out. So we definitely solved the jump. Not sure which part solved it. Probably the origin, because Jonathan's always a genius. So now let's figure out why when A is pressed, it's not, um, let's see, is there a way to say held? Key held. Hmm. It's probably because of all these things that are determining its animation, so Let's say if A is not pressed, um, okay. So when A is not pressed, all this stuff, oh, no, 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 it's supposed to be its own thing. No bitch. Okay, when A is not pressed, the main character is moving and is on floor, animation is one. However, if he's not moving and he's on the floor, change animation to zero. This still probably is gonna be. And then this should stay the same because we're just flipping horizontally. And then the jump thing's a little messy. But let's also put that in here for shits and giggles. No? Here. Thank you. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, these all still work. I love that. Okay, good. And we can even do it now so that all it's doing is changing its animation. And while you hold it, it repeats which is how we want the spin in the real game. It'll be a spin, it'll be more continuous. You won't return normal. In fact, let's make it like that in here. So 
So our attack animation, let's delete some of these. Well, it'll still return to normal though. Um, but hypoth hypothetically, in our spin one, so that's a good question, because we want it to be like a start to this. You know how it kind of fades in? I mean, fuck it. It doesn't really matter. Let's just delete these and see what goes down. Oh shoot, how do I delete? Because I want it to be like a continuous thing when you're pressing A. I guess if you're always able to spin, that could be a bit of an issue, but whatever, we're figuring out. Yeah, this graph, these graphics are actually pretty cool. Again, they don't really fit the platform's graphics, but you know. You better earn them Zomaronis, we're doing a, uh, I remember, an Elder Mall. Okay, so, <laughs> it's a little goofy, but we get the idea, right? Okay. Oh, thank you, Bernsey. Oh. And Jonathan, you still haven't said what you want for your 30-minute ASMR. All right, let me not forget to snooze the ad. Um, so I'll probably go at least for another 15 minutes. Oh, better, we're back to the game. Oh no, oh you won, then you lost. Okay, so let's finally try to add what the whole point of today was. So while A key is pressed, and you're not on the floor, because obviously we don't want you constantly bouncing off the floor you're on. Hey, Moose. Um, and you run into, so yet another sub-event, and main character, is in collision with a new sprite. So here's where it'd be nice to use the same sprite for all the platforms, Jonathan, is once we have an amazing array of edges of platforms and the middles of the platforms and the walls and the this and the that, if we just use one rectangular object for all of them, I can code something like this a lot easier. There is a way to do object groups as well, um, which maybe we'll learn is easier on the um, CPU, but but not overlapping. No objects are touching each other on their edges. I don't know. So when you, hey, nice tuxedo. I don't know what to call you anymore. Okay, now here's the real challenge. First off, whether or not it's going to consider it a floor, I wish they had a wall object in, um, in the platform behavior, but I just thought of something else that I should write down that we could also, and Jonathan, I'll probably need your help remembering this because it'll probably be a scribble. We could have wall invisible object as the edges of platforms. So what I mean is, and the walls. We don't want necessarily for while you're in attack mode for you to bounce off floors like this. That's why I added is not on floor. We only want to bounce off walls like that. And though the reason why I can't just say no platforms is I do want you to bounce off of those. Oh, this seems a lot, well, no. He still goes off the edge. I think it could be that even if his like little dress on top point is within it. I'm kind of curious, so I might, well, no, we won't play with that right now, but that would be another reason to have feet as separate is so that we can have a collision mask like we have right now where it does include, you know, it's 
his dress or whatever, his VV dress. Um, but if we have feet separate, it should only be within this little range instead of all the way out to here, maybe, is why that's happening. Not sure. Okay, but so what I mean, it, when I'm going back to the other thing that we could have, instead of just new sprite, this would be called, you know, platform. And it would be only for these platform ones, but then we'd separately have something called the wall. And we'd have them at the edge of each of these platforms so that you can bounce off them. For now, though, let's let it be a shit show. And let's do is in collision with new sprite. Here comes some real deal shit. Apply force, I think they call it. Doesn't, shouldn't have to be physics, though. Ooh, angular impulse. I'm just curious what that even means. Well, I don't know. What the hell that was all about. Um, there should be something called force. That's like the most, one of their most basic things. Okay, add a force, angle. I wonder if there's one to like move away from an object. No. Which this will be cool, add a force to move toward an object for like honing in stuff. Okay, this is gonna be the real deal. And a bunch of math. So, the angle between the main character and the platformer, if he's going up, that would be plus like 30, right? I don't know, you, I need you guys' help for this. And then does that need to be in quotes though, I think? Um, What's our speed when we're jumping anyways? Should be in here. Jump speed's 800. Acceleration is 1500. Uh, I don't know, let's do 1000. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just see what this looks like. But I know it'll end up being something to do with that, right? Like, something to do with angle angle between the two objects I think is our best and then the big oh angle of the movement oh that's top down movement exposition from angle and distance well let's just see what this does I don't think this is going to work what I assume this will do now is anytime we're not on the floor we press A and we run into any of our walls and platforms, which will include the platforms right now, which is why we'll probably want two different invisible sprites. Um, whatever angle <laughs> the main character was towards the platform, which I don't know if that uses like the center of the sprite or its movement or the origin or what, we're about to find out. We'll just add 30 degrees, which I guess we would probably want 90. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay, everything's still normal, but while we're pressing A, hmm, that wasn't exactly <laughs> what I pictured. Let's see. Hmm. And maybe while it's happening, you, you shouldn't still have control of mid-jump. Mm -hmm. That didn't seem to do anything. Push that check. During the time of one frame, oh. Well that, okay, that's part of the issue. Usually there's, I thought there's one where it's only for a certain amount. What did this, what was this called? Instant add force.
Right, this is the one we were doing, right? There should be one where it's for as long... Um, well, let's just see what happens when we change it to permanent. But hopefully it doesn't mean we just keep flying in that direction. Um, you would think there's one where after a certain amount of distance... He'll stop. Okay, let's get our A on. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so clearly the force is permanent. <laughs> okay, one more time because I really like that. You guys can see that, right? Um, and it kind of was in the angle. Wow, that force is still there. That's kind of cool, but that's that's not it. That was not the goal. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I intended. Well, shit. Okay. There totally is. Oh wait, now we may, whoa, I'm sorry. We may have to add physics engine, which is a whole nother beast that I don't know anything about. Um, but I want it to be able to like bounce off constantly. What will this do? Oh, this is a whole nother beast. I'd have to... We may have to learn this and play with it. I know there's a way to do like a Pong type thing. Um, I know... I know there's a way to do... Where it, it's sort of like... For as long... Like you can define how long it, it lasts. Um, let's look through all this. Current horizontal speed. Acceleration. Because we also want jump sustain time to go up while you're pressing it too. Which this may have to be next time because it's already... We're already over an hour and I had to snooze again and I don't want us to get an ad. Um, Hmm. Movement, you oh, well, stop the object. Obviously, we can do, but add a force. Man, I swore. I swear there's a way to define. Maybe wall jump would have been easier after all. It'd be cool if there's a way to do move away from an object, move toward a position. So when you say the inverse like, then add the, let's see, we can just wait a certain amount of time. All right, well, I'll have to play around because I'm thinking, I mean, I'll watch some, some videos about it. I feel like we got a good amount done with just playing around with what will come up when we do our real one. Um, just out of curiosity, let's just peek one more time at wall jump now that we know a little more what we want. Um, slide speeds, slide, oh, side acceleration. So maybe that would determine how much we do bounce off it. Um, let's just see what happens if we make this like crazy, crazy high. And also turn off this, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, let's disable this for now. So 
So now this will be a constant, but let's just see what happens with this. Oh, but I still don't know how they define what's a wall anyways. Site speed. Uh, we're just making this crazy high just to see what happens. And the sustain time should be longer. I don't know. We'll see what this looks like. Oh, that is definitely closer to what we wanted. And then we could make it maybe where it's only active while you're pressing A. But I don't want it to be triggered by a jump. So actually this, this might be for now at least, because I'm sure there are better ways to do this. We could definitely say when A key is not pressed, wall jump should not exist. Um, main care. Damn, do they not have deactivated it? Hmm. Well, that ain't it, though. Because I thought there would be an option to deactivate wall jump. I mean, there is a behavior here. I guess we would just make it zero for everything. So while A is not pressed, let's check that one more time. That would be easiest. I mean, let's just see what this does. So while A key is not pressed, maybe this turns off wall jump? No, okay, I was just curious. So that's not it. Let's try then. Um, there would be. No side acceleration. There would be no speed. It makes no sense to me that wall jumps not a um, behavior we could turn off. Like why is there also not the um, behavior of just platform in general. It's really weird to me. I'm quite positive there's a way usually to turn that on and off. Let's just see what happens. But uh, what was our default again? Our default was 800. No. Our default was 7,000 and 700. Well, let's just see if even that turned off wall jump first off. Damn, you still have wall jump though. Hmm, all right, well we'll have to play around with that more. It'd be really cool if they just had to deactivate or activate wall jump. Um, just in case, there's also whatever this jump time frame is. Wait, enter the name of an object. Enter the name of an object, main care. Um, platform configuration stack is one of the behaviors listed on here and that's like default added when you have advanced stuff like wall jump as well um like you see it's how it uh, it's just a part of it but we already tried deactivating that um and unfortunately it didn't solve turning off wall jump um so I mean care so when do i type in the zero and that seems all broken too. Of main character to zero. I don't know, we'll have to play around with that next time. Somehow we gotta turn off wall jump, but while A key is pressed, have wall jump, I think that's going to um, 
work really well. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, there's just not a way to activate, deactivate the wall jump behavior. And we already tried doing this. Um, but I'll play around. I'll see. I'll Google about it. There's a lot of good people out there who help with uh, gdevelop tutorials. Um, actually, Michael just got home too, so perfect timing. Let's raid. I think Lauren's streaming. Um, we we raided her recently, so figured I'd see if. Um, I wish Murphy was streaming. I'm surprised he's not. So, well, maybe we won't uh, raid because. This was kind of ASMR, but um, I'll do a shout out instead to Glendita. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I think this is a lot more fun and exciting now that we're trying to do our own ideas. Um, and maybe later I'll do another stream, but for sure tomorrow for our usual uh, retro, we're going to finish Resident Evil Survivor. So hope you guys have a great day. Peace out. Thanks, you guys.